Okay, the lighting's great right here. Okay. Anyway, this video, hi guys, Celis and Corey, we're talking about time and the massive illusion of time. And I want it to help in two ways. I want it to, one, change your self-concept in the way you look at time and how it relates to your self-concept. And I want it to completely shift how you feel and how quickly your desires come to you. Because when you let things flow and not constrict them with this, um, this like stronghold that time has on everyone, age and time, um, things can, you know, flow more easily and your desires will be, just come to you quicker and easier. And so those are the two objectives of this video. I just want to relax you around the idea of time and hopefully this will be really helpful and I'm trying to do it in 10 minutes or less. So we'll see how I do. Um, so yeah, time has a really big grip on us, right? Like we want to have a baby by this age. We, we need to graduate college and have our degree by this age. We need to have a certain lifestyle by a certain age, right? We want to be married by a certain age. We have all these ideas, self-imposed ideas, mostly, you know, and societal ones as well about time, right? We want to be successful by this age. If we're not successful by a certain age, we're, we feel like we kind of failed at that or we, we have all these stipulations about time and we see how much we are constricted and bound by this wild thing called time, right? And the actuality of it is that time was actually just made up so we can meet people for coffee. Like it was literally back in the day, they were like, it wasn't like meeting people for coffee back then, but it was like, we just need this kind of orderly thing for people to be able to meet up with other people, right? It was literally just like, okay, this is what it is. It wasn't meant to be what we have turned it into with our construct of time, with, you know, living in this list, like, you know, regimented type world that we live in, right? It wasn't meant to be counting years and counting all these, you know, putting age, you know, having restrictions with our age and all of that stuff that has come with this construct of time that we've kind of made up along the way, right? It's, um, it's something that we've kept over the years. I feel like we've kind of like added to this idea of time where we're just, we're basically adding more and more restrictions on our life by this construct that was just simply for us to just be able to, you know, meet up with people at a certain time and not be like all off, you know, <laughs> schedule wise. It's just basically a scheduling tactic, not really meant to be counting years or putting like labels and restrictions on every everybody because of time, right? So, and even at like, if you go to, for example, your physician, you know, they, they expect you to have certain uh, diseases by age 50, right? They expect certain things to, they look for certain things at certain ages, like at age 60, oh, we've got to watch out for this. We've got to be careful about this. We've got to check for this. We're going to, you know, do a, whatever, whatever they start doing, you know, like normal physicians even have like an idea when you tell them your age of what to expect, right? And I always say to people, would you, would you rather have 27 year old problems or 57 year old problems like it's literally what you think of yourself in your head and you should like I tell my mum this all the time like just think of an age that you those are the things that you want to be you know think of an age that relates to you that you feel like is a comfortable age for you and just be that age in your head like don't worry about the construct that everyone's trying to put on you and the actuality of it is this. So I'm gonna to try to explain this in the most simplest way for you guys, because there's a lot of science around this as well. But in basic terms, this is how I can explain how time is not real, okay? So there's some a couple ideas that I'll throw out there for you to just mull over. So um, one way is, have you ever, have you ever gone into like um, an art studio or you're doing dance or you're doing something creative and you literally like maybe four or five or six hours has passed 
and you literally feel like only 20 minutes has gone by right I mean you've all probably had that experience right well the actual fact is only 20 minutes has passed I know this is like a mind-blowing concept for most people but like literally it, it's 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 like saying two years for one person can be like you know six years for another person because the the time time you can stop time you can slow down time especially when you're in the flow of life right when you're having a good time anytime you're having a good time have you ever had you know been on a boat or had a really amazing experience and you think like whoa time was so quick like where did my time go like when you're on vacation or something literally you slow down and like quick in time all the time so literally let's say your vacation felt like it was like one day long and it was two weeks long but it was like all this fun stuff and you just were in the flow and it was really really amazing only one day passed or, or the time frame of like you know maybe I don't know let's see think of like seven hours actually only passed because you were you were in the flow state so Bashar really explains this really well and I and I'm, I'm trying to do a good job of explaining because there's a lot of science behind it too but that's like the best way I can say it it's like literally when you're in flow state less time goes by for you so you actually end up younger and it's just a way for me to kind of get you to grasp that time is movable like time is not what we think it is it's not like this thing where everyone thinks it is what right where we're all counting the same one year for someone could be 10 years for someone else depending on how they're using their time if that makes sense um, and then another thing I was gonna say about it I was gonna give you a great example of when my sister and and just to try to tell you guys that anything is possible with time okay just to get this idea in your head so that you're not um, anyway she's doing something so that you're not still constricted with time or at least get you thinking in the direction of releasing your constrictions around time and 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 allowing your desires to flow naturally to you and to change your self perspective i.e self-concept on time so that you're not so wound up into this like idea of time so you can release it and actually the irony is that when you release time and when you allow it to be this construct that's not real to you that you can manip you know manipulates kind of like used in a bad way but I mean in a, in a good way like you can just make it your own kind of you know it's a malleable when time becomes a malleable thing for you then the actuality is that your desires will actually come in quicker right when you release time when you don't have a when time doesn't have such a strong grip on you you can allow your desires to come in more easily and um, you're not as worried or concerned about anything right you're not like holding tight to anything you're just allowing things to come to you so it actually does the opposite of what you think it's going to do it really allows your desires to come in when you're not counting the hours how many time how many weeks has it been since you talked to the guy how many months has it been since you were trying to create your own business things like that when you're not counting time and you know it's not a real thing you can allow your your things to come so much more quickly so this is all just trying to get you on the on the path of just um, releasing the grip of time okay so the one <laughs> really amazing story that I'll tell you is when people like ask me oh can I change my age because a lot of people are just wound up about age and it seems easier to actually change the age than to change everybody's idea about that age like everybody has like an idea about what it is to be 50 right but so like if you it, it, it seems much easier to just change your age if if everyone if there's like a whole world of people saying well this is what problems you have at 50 or these are the things that come with being 50 or what whatever so and give you some to give you some hope though I want to tell you this story so when my sister and I lived together we um, as adults we lived together at one point like I was like four or five years ago okay so we went to get her license we went to the DMV which is a dreaded thing but we went there together and we were just waiting around and I, I had this idea in my head like and I was always already thinking about it because I'd been in the 
in this sort of like creating your own own reality thing for like at least 10 years at that point right so I was like huh I wonder how easy it would be just to change change your age on the license but I wasn't like trying to do it I just had the idea like oh it'd be cool like I wonder you know I was looking around at the people thinking like these people could make a mistake or they can just flip the numbers or like I don't know just like I was trying to think like anything's possible in this place kind of thing like I was just I was just excuse me mulling over the idea right so she goes in gets her license she was getting a uh, she I think she's redoing it but she had to take the the whole test again so they had to do the license like again because I think oh she didn't have a license in the state that we were in okay so she's getting a license for that state so she had to do the whole process so I went you know we went together and then so we did the whole thing and then a week or two weeks passed by and I'm at the house and we open each other's mail because we're just we're close like that so I get a, a mail and I, I see this from the DMV and I open it and I look at her license and I'm like, oh my God, they literally switched the year, like the year was wrong and the day, like the day was like one, I think the day was like two days off and the year was like a few, a few years off. And I was like, oh my God, like I literally got chills just now, just re-imagining it because it was amazing. I just literally had this like little thought in the back of my head like I wonder how meticulous these people are they're just writing things down like they just copy her old license or they're just literally looking at a piece of paper that she wrote her information down on and copying and I was like these people this girl doesn't she can't see you know whatever like she's just not wearing her glasses today or anything you know anything is possible and I just wanted to say that or just relay that story because it's literally I want to start to shift your perspective and it's such a long held perspective for so many people like we we think we know what happens at age 20 we know what happens at age 50 especially to our bodies right we expect certain things for ourselves at certain ages and I really want you to know that you you can just change anything you can literally and one year for one person is not one year for another person like it's totally different and you can if you if you know this you can just completely shift your perspective and people will start like even if you don't want to change it you know if you don't want to work on because I do think you can actually change your license but if you don't want to work on that you can just literally go around saying like I'm this age like and then people will will confirm that people will confirm your decision okay so we're called radical deciders for a reason okay just radically decide what you're going to do and what you're going to be and that that new thing can be your new concept of time can be a part of your self-concept okay and it should be a part of your self-concept that's what i'm i'm teaching how to reframe the entire world based on your self-concept which is basically what neville was was teaching I, i'm obviously teaching it in my own way but yeah, it's very similar, right? I just use my own experience to teach from as well. But I, it's something that Neville definitely, you know, stressed that our self-concept, our concept of concept of ourselves, changes the entire universe, our entire world in relation to us, right? Whatever we're receiving, so people will start to reflect back whatever you believe about yourself. So choose good things, right? Choose what supports you. Choose the things that you want in your life and discard the rest you know get rid of the, the beliefs that you don't want to show up anymore just decide 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 on something that you that supports you you know so anyway I just wanted to give you that little I might do another one on time because it's so important I just wanted to kind of get the wheels turning on time and and start to shift your perspective and really um, allow it to shift the way you see your desires and and not having no worry about time will allow things to come in so much easier in your world so let me know how it helps and thumbs me up if you love it um join the channel if you love neville and changing your life transformation and see you next time guys bye